Hello, and welcome to a short video on the use of the Macular Pigment Optical Density Tester, otherwise known as the MPOD. I'm Dr. James Kundart, Associate Professor at Pacific University College of Optometry, and I would like to show this video to my students in particular for use of this instrument in the demonstration mode as I originally learned it in an exhibit hall for the American Academy of Optometry. This device uses the antoptic phenomenon known as Maxwell's spot to demonstrate to the patient and the clinician how the xanthophyll pigments of the macula, lutein and zeaxanthine, are, are working and how um, thick they are and how whether treatment is working or macular degeneration is a risk factor for this patient. So first you want to turn the patient on using the switch on the, uh, turning rather than the MPOT on using the switch on the back. And you will see here that this says press the button to uh, demonstrate, and they mean the, the test button for the patient. So you're going to press this button here. And then inside the machine, you should see that there will be three lights. They will start out looking black. When you press the button again, uh, you will see to adjust the height of the instrument. So you can tilt the instrument up or down. We don't have the laptop attached that you would use to enter the patient demographic information. And press the button one more time in order to turn on the, uh, the blue light. Notice it is flickering in the center. And you're to press the button when the light flickers, much like you would on the Humphrey Matrix visual field machine. This is testing the foveal xanthophyll pigment. And you'll do that five or six times to make sure you're sensitive in the center. This instrument is monocular, but you're using it to test each eye. Right now, this would be the right eye testing in demonstration mode. In actual clinical setting, you would test the left eye as well. Here, you're to look at the red dot and press the button when you see the blue dot flickering with your peripheral xanthophyll pigment. The black dot is there just for balance. You're not to look at that, but look at the red dot instead. You'll do this a certain number of times, pressing the button each time, and then you will get a result. That's the practice run, good result. You'll actually get a numerical result, uh, which is going to be a, a decimal number with two digits, one being perfect, 100% pigment, and beyond that, you would have, um, below that you, is where you normally would fall. The test is now repeating. Normally you would test the left eye and the, the right hand dot would turn red and you'd fixate there for the peripheral left side of vision. So that's really all you need to know for the MPOD. I hope that was a useful video for you. Uh, for